Alright, so there's some light that has traveled a long way from Bode's Galaxy. <laughs> Whoa, whoops. I forgot to plug in my microphone. So what I'm saying here in this intro is there are some photons that have traveled a long way from Bode's Galaxy, all to be the first photons to touch the sensor of this camera. So in this video, we are going to take an image of Bode's Galaxy just to learn the camera. I'm not expecting this to be an award-winning photo, but it's something to help at least learn the process with the camera. So let's get into it. All right, and while I have you from home, hi there, my name's Dalen. Here at Astro Escape, we go over all things astrophotography, starting from the very beginner level and working our way up from there. If you're new here, if you like what you see as you're watching this video, please do consider giving this one a like. So while I'm here, uh, as I mentioned, starting from the very beginner level, this is the first time I am using this camera and it's the first time I'm using a dedicated astrophotography camera. So it's a learning process for me. So uh, in this video, I'm the beginner too. Another thing that I didn't mention in the video is if you look in the background here, you see a bunch of clouds. Now, when I first got on location to the observatory I went to, it was windy and it was cloudy. Now, luckily throughout the night, it did actually calm down with the wind and the clouds disappeared pretty much right at sunset and it was just beautiful. But now that you know that, let's get back into the rest of the video. All right, we are already uh, polar aligned, we're focused. Now we're just pulling up an image of Bode's just to see what exposure length I wanna go with. Let's take a look at what it looks like. Well, so there's no good way to, uh, to do this uh, in the dark. So we'll just do this like this, I guess. So what I am shooting is Bode's galaxy, the companions around it. Uh, right now I'm doing three minute exposures. Um, I'm at the observatory, but luckily I'm the only one here, so this little bit of light isn't gonna make anybody mad. I think it might still be affecting my image, so I'm gonna make this quick. So let's go over uh, the plan for tonight. So right now I'm doing 60 light frames on Bode's and then I'll get my calibration frames and I leave. But because it's cold, I'm just kind of chilling in the car and just browsing social media. <laughs> really for those that are interested here's what the gear is that I'm using so I'm using the HEQ 5 Pro by Skywatcher the ASI Air is controlling everything and I have the 120 mini uh, as the guide cam and the whole reason for tonight is to test out my new ASI 294 MC Pro and I know this isn't going to be an award-winning picture but it's a good one to uh, Good night just to learn. It was actually real windy earlier, like you saw earlier. It was actually enough to shake my car. I got here about three hours before sunset and I sat in the car for about an hour and a half just waiting for the wind to die down. That is uh, what everything is, uh, is doing. And hopefully this image still turns out okay. But like I said, I'm not expecting it to be an award winner, but um, I'm gonna let it keep rolling. I uh, might just sit here and listen to some tunes. I heard of a few new albums that came out that I wanna listen to, so I think I'm just gonna get to listening to those. But yeah, I'm already kind of halfway. There was people here earlier and I was BSing with them while uh, the first half was shooting, but they've since left. You know, let's uh, let it keep going and I'll check in with you here in a bit. All right, I'm back at home and uh, as soon as I got home, I pretty much went right to bed. So it is the next day already. So let's go over a few things that I learned uh, after playing around with my image as well uh, this morning and uh, see what I've learned from this new camera. And the main thing that I did learn is, uh, you know, this is probably the second or third time that I've recorded at the observatory and when other people are around, it's a huge pain in the butt. So I'm definitely gonna be looking around for a spot that's a little bit more private. That way uh, I can have uh, my camera's set up and if I have to turn on a light, I can. Um, even if I have to pause the image for a few minutes. But uh, moving over to the gear, uh, one thing that I did learn is that the setup is super simple with this gear, uh, this combination of gear rather. Uh, there wasn't too many extra challenges to connecting this camera to anything. Just plug it right in, plug the power in, and turn it on, really. It's, you're good to go. And you don't turn the camera on itself, you actually power it through USB and the power supply for the fan. Uh, there's no on switch for the camera. Another thing that I did learn is that when you're focusing, 
you'll want to go in and set the ASI Air to video mode. That treats it kind of like the screen on a DSLR and you can preview what's um, being viewed real time. If you try to do preview mode on the ASI Air, it'll just take constant shots and you have to wait a couple seconds for it to update. But if you set it to video mode, you can focus a lot easier. Another huge thing here, and this is very important, is that my back focus was off. It was very close. So the middle of my image is pretty sharp, as you can see in this single unedited frame. However, around all of the corners, it wasn't completely flat. And that's because the back focus was off. So the next few times that I'm out, I'm gonna slow down a little bit and take a few test shots. And if I have to readjust just a little bit and try to get those stars sharp on the corners. But that's something for you to keep in mind should you get something similar, that back focus really does matter. All right, one of the downsides to the ASI 294 MC is that there is a lot of amp glow. And if you take a look at this single dark frame, you can see the amp glow is very apparent. So with this camera, darks are especially important. You don't want to miss those because you will have amp glow in the pictures. All right, so let's pull up this image freshly stacked at a deep sky stacker and give it a little bit of stretch to look at the noise. And man, this produces way less noise than any other image I've taken with a DSLR. I know that's kind of the point with a cooled camera, but man, this is getting me excited to learn this a little bit more and to continue sharing it with you. If you enjoyed this video, please do like, comment, and then maybe consider subscribing. I want to thank you for watching. Enjoy the image.